This is size 12B170D and uh, first I'm going to use, I will explain all the materials as I go along. Um, first I'm going to add a green tag which is represent um, egg laying caddis. This is uh, green, fluoro green, number 12 grow bright. So just about start from here. Take this piece off. And just go back and forward to build up a nice size. And that's better. And then step paper finish. And just for the security. Um just gonna add some UV raisins. Just a very thin one. And cure it for a few seconds. That's better. Now the next step, I'm using Eto Olive Dung. So, just going to add some wax on the thread and just about start below the eye. And touch and turn. Oh, I don't have to be touch and turn, just stop right there. Just a little bit more wax. For the body, I'm using olive ostrich feather. Um, represent really nice fluffy body. So I took one piece off and just catch it here. Just stop, just about there. And I mean, if you could put like a um, little super glue here, it's entirely up to you. But I just. Gonna do it without super glue actually. Um, just keep going and then secure it. Make this piece off. And just stro stroke them back and Just scale them. And as you can see, it looks quite nice actually. The next step I'm going to add this little closed cell form. I've just cut it like this. Um, so just, just a level with the green tag and catch it. In fact, I would just cut it uh, diagonally from here so it sits nicely. Okay. And secure that. Let's see how it looks. Mm, not bad. In fact, just A little bit longer, so I'm just gonna cut some more off and nice, better. You can use different color of form, olive, you know, black, yellow is quite good. Just gonna stroke these fiber to spread them equally. Okay, that's the body. Um, I'm just gonna add a little bit of color on the 
point block marker you don't have to do that but right just gonna scale that properly so it's the river pattern you know you don't have to cast far now another material which is I'm going to put is olive elk hair so I already took some off and put it in the hair stacker just a pinch not too much and I should be all right catch them together Just body length. And I'll just chop this off. Just take your time here, it's just a tricky though. And catch all of these same time. If you're not happy with it, you can do it again. But just see how they're sitting. It looks all right. And then scale everything. Seems all right to me. Now I'm going to add some wax on the thread and open the thread anti-clockwise. And I'm going to add the next material, which I'll show you in a bit. Okay. Now the next one, I'm, the material I'm going to put on the head is uh, olive CDC and the yellow partridge feather just mix together and catch them in this tool um, so what you have to do is split the thread with the little needle I've already done that as you can see and then gently catch these And then spin them clockwise All right now take your time and then just stroke them back just a loose turn and then stop just there and open your thread because if you don't then um, all those turn you put on the thread will happen when you put a little tension on it it snaps so just open it completely and then build up a nice little head okay all I'll do is just kind of varnish just a little varnish on the thread not too much just to secure it up so that's fine and a couple of turn, three turn and that's done okay now what you have to do is just check it looks alright I mean if you want to 
just leave it like this entirely up to you or do you want to cut it from the bottom but I think it's best to just leave it so once that one sits on the water it looks very nice and I've been catching um, decent brown trout last year you know they've been really really effective and they float really long time I'm not saying it's unsinkable but I call it in unsinkable as well all you have to do when you start going down get a tissue paper in your hand and give it a good squeeze and then next cast this exactly the goes back to the normal and floats very well so okay that's um, completed now and this is your foam caddis um, I hope you enjoy this video um, thank you very much for watching and hopefully see you next time.